say hi from Cherish Math. And this is the problem. A circle is inscribed in a right angle triangle ABC. AP is equal to 6 and PC is equal to 2. Find the value of the radius R. I'm going to name two more points of tangent on the circle. This is the point S and this is the point T. I'm now going to make two more lines connecting from the center of the circle to the point of the tangent P and the T. And this is how it looks like. It is now the time to identify the side length of the triangle. For this part, TB is this, the same length with the radius R. And for the SB, Two. The next step I'm going to identify for the length of PC which is given here as 2 units. That is going to apply for the SC2. Because for the line PC and the SC are tangent to the circle at the point P and the S. For the same method I'm going to apply for the line AP which is at the 6 units on the line AT then I'm going to put up 6 units as well. Simply because AP and AT are the lines of tangent to the circle at the point P and the point T. On the next step, I'm going to work out the side length of this triangle in details by summing up each of the sides. For the line of AC, it is by using 6, add up with 2, it is 8 here. While for the line, BC is simply by using the radius R plus 2. This is R plus 2. And for the line of AB, it is R plus 6. And this is still at the right angle. To find for what is the value of R, I'm going to use the Pythagoras theorem to solve it. Expanding this, and I rearrange for this equation. Next, I'm going to simplify it. At this point, I'm going to use the quadratic formula to solve for the value of r in exact form. And I'm going to simplify for this part. The value that I'm getting here is 2 times the square root of 7 minus 4. And it is in a positive value. I can only pick up the positive sign here to solve the problem simply because the value of the radius r it doesn't exist in the negative. Thanks for watching and please subscribe.